Monday morning. It's eight o'clock. I'm headed to um, go to a personal trainer um, for boxing. I'm really excited. I'm going to um, just blow dry my hair and I wanted to show you guys me using the Dyson. Um, honestly, the greatest purchase that I've ever made. So that's my hair fully dry. That took me nine minutes and like 40 seconds from fully like damp I guess. I used this brush head today. It's supposed to be a little bit more straightening, like it's supposed to straighten the hair, which I feel like it achieved that look. Like it, my hair is looking really, really straight. For hair oil, I'm gonna be using the Gizu hair oil. The only thing I have issues with about this um, packaging is that the oil kind of spills over the lid and it like spills over when I put it back in here. So I have to be really careful just not to, um, like when I put it back inside, it, it really just like spills over the sides here as I put it back in. And I'm just like running that through my ends, the mid shaft to the ends here. Um, I'm going to go ahead and start making some notes and planning out all these things that I need to do today and this week in my Silk and Sonder November planner. There's like tons of different stuff in here. There's like recipes in here, quotes, expense checkers, coloring. Um, playlists, like mood, sweet checkers, happiness logs, um, wellness wheels, or habit checkers, or whatever. Um, so there's like a ton of different things in here. I particularly like using this just to write down um, what I need to do, like tasks. Today we are getting my hair cut and done, pretty much untouched. There's no bleach or color in it. I have a lot of split ends in my hair. I have a lot of, um, you know, just like dryness in the ends of my hair. So I thought it's probably a good time to get it cut. It will be the first time I'm cutting it since COVID. And actually, I think it's gonna be the first time I'm cutting it in about one year. But today we're going to a celebrity hairstylist and she's actually a personal friend of mine. Um, we met in high school and um, yeah, I'm just so happy for her because she does Olivia Munn's hair, Jasmine Took's hair, she's done Constance Wu's hair. And you guys know that I have um, like, been not compared to but people think I resemble Con Constance Wu a lot so I'm excited for her to cut my hair um, my appointments at 4 p.m. today and it's right around 1 o'clock so I still want to uh, film a few things beforehand um, but I finished getting ready and doing my makeup and everything and you can find this exact makeup routine on my Instagram right now um, it'll be under the highlights under get ready with me so you can find out what products I used and all that stuff but um, this is how long my hair is it really does go down to my belt line like my waist is right here so it is really long and I'm ready to get a fresh cut just get some layers put in it maybe some curtain bangs I, I, I want a lot of volume up here I find that because my hair is so heavy it just pulls it all down and it becomes very flat so um, especially now that I have my Dyson air wrap I want to be able to have pieces that are very you know volumized and full looking and kind of has a really nice body and wave to it so that's what I'm looking for I have some inspo photos um, but I'm really excited to take you guys along so I'm sitting in stop-and-go traffic we're going under a tunnel right now but I made myself a PB&J sandwich um, which I haven't, I didn't eat lunch today, so I decided to make this and eat it on the way. Um, I'm going to my mom's work to her warehouse because I leave a lot of my winter clothes in storage there. So I'm bringing back some of my summer clothes and swapping it out so I can create some beautiful content and do like a must-haves fall coat video. 
I'm gonna focus on the road now and just drive and then I will see you guys when I get to my mom's work and finish my PB&J sandwich, which I'm so excited about. Okay, so I made it to the salon. It's like 10 minutes before four, so I'm gonna head in now. I need to pay for my meter. Let's go inside. you guys through the experience of me getting my hair cut honestly I've never spent this much money on a haircut before so I thought it'd be worth telling you how it was what I thought and if I think it's worth it so um, after washing our hair first of all let me mention that this hair salon is absolutely absolutely just gorgeous beautiful interior beautiful aesthetic not a lot of customers very relaxing and it was very much my vibe I just want to put that out there um, and again as I said before I know Kylie personally we went on a double date before in high school with our boyfriends at the time and um, yeah so we were just kind of catching up the whole time and she cut off um, I would say about six inches of hair um, and we cut off a lot of face framing bits so obviously there's a pile of hair in this clip you can see but there was a lot more than that just that at the very end pretty much what i asked for was point cut all the way around with long layers and face framing bits with a curtain bang I like my uh, face, frame, face framing bits to be a little bit thicker. I got my face framing bits a little bit thicker so that even when it wasn't blow dried or styled, it still fell very beautifully and naturally. She's blowing out my hair now and um, Honestly, I wanted to keep this part in the video because I need to reference this portion again when I'm styling my hair and I think it's really helpful for anybody who wants to see a professional salon blowout what it looks like. I'm so sorry I did not get any clips of what it looks like in the back. I just realized that, that I didn't get any clips of what it looks like in the back. But because it's one length all the way around, it pretty much just looks like what it looks like in the front. There's no crazy layers and it's just straight across at the bottom. And Anyway, she cut um, and texturized the bottom with the point cutting and I think thinning shears or something. My hair feels very, very light. And at the end of the video, you'll see what it looks like just air dried when I sleep with the hair um, blow dried out and stuff. You'll see it in the morning. It's really low maintenance. Um, and now we're just finishing up. She added a few curls with a loose, I would say like one and a half inch barrel is what I think it was um, but it was just nice loose waves that she just added in with the blowout and she's just now setting it and I just love it so much This is perfect. No, it's okay. This is good. Oh my gosh, look at this. This is so good. So good. And like this face framing right here, this is like, what this want? is the money shot right here. This <laughs> is so good. Oh, I love people. it. I love it. I love it. Um, good morning. So I just wanted to show you guys what my hair looks like. It's like freshly washed and just air dried. Um, I washed it last night and I obviously it's the morning but I just wanted to show you guys what it looks like when I don't touch it and I don't style it um, because I feel like this hairstyle is still kind of low maintenance so here's what it looks like but I think I'm still gonna style it because it's Sunday and I have church today so I'm gonna st still style it but um, I'll time it and I'll let you know how long it takes me to style my hair so here's my hair done um, for the day. I just styled it. It took me about 
15 minutes I want to say uh, I want to say it took me about 15 minutes I sprayed my hair with a like a water sprayer just to damp it a little bit and then start styling it I feel like the Dyson works better when your hair is slightly damp I'm still working on how to get my fringe to be like perfect um, but for the most part I really like how loose it looks it just looks effortless and um, there's a lot of dimension because of the haircut so okay so here's my hair complete um, I finished it up and I also finished my makeup. I just haven't put any lips on because I'm gonna go eat breakfast. So um, yeah, this is um, what my hair looks like when I finish it. I personally like this side a lot better than this side only because I still don't know how to figure out how to do this side. Like this side just looks kind of dead, but this side feels like whoosh. How cute does this hairstyle look with like a headband? Blair Waldorf vibes, right? Yeah, I'm ready to go to church now and it's kind of cold this morning so I might wear like a cute little coat over this but I think today I'm gonna wear Sol de Janeiro or do I want to wear Libre? Oh actually this is how I'm feeling, I'm gonna wear Libre. See, there's like such musky tones in here, it gives me like a sexiness feeling. For sunnies today I'm gonna wear my Desi Charge It shades is that the vibe? I feel like this, this probably has more of like the 70s vibe. These ones, I kind of feel like these look the best with the whole outfit. And then bag for today is my Parissa Wang backpack. Um, and I think that's it. I think that's everything I need to take. Um, let's take my lip oil from Dior. I need to take a multivitamin. 